Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. Now, first, two di uh, three disclaimers. No face cam today. I'm still sick. I'm not feeling too well. I don't want to present you uh, my face when I'm uh, this out of energy and I'm feeling this like poorly, quote unquote. So yeah, not gonna do that. And third of all, I'm probably going to have uh, a few attacks of my cold. I'm going to probably have to sneeze quite a bit and stuff like that. So if that happens. Uh, just ignore it. You probably all have had a cold before, and you know what I'm going through right here. But this video shall not only be about my cold, but it shall only be about this pistol bunch that information. That I'm going to make a new ebook for you guys. It's going to be out of the Saints offense, and this is going to be the first part of this free ebook. Now, pistol bunch that end is not a great formation, in my opinion. It's a good formation, don't get me wrong, it's a good offense, you can probably beat a lot of people running just that. But you're not going to be able to beat a anybody running, everybody, I, sh I should say. You will not be able to beat everybody in Weekend League with this formation alone, but this is a mini scheme. Now for those of you that don't know, my definition for a mini scheme is this is the offense that you are run, uh, that you're running before your opponent uh, can stop it. Once your opponent can stop your mini scheme then you go into your real quote-unquote offense now and for that this formation is just perfect the audibles I would go with are cross drag halfback zone verticals and spot option on the first page you can see halfback zone if you then flick your left stick uh, to the uh, yeah, forward once then you have the spot option and verticals place and then you have cross drag as you go up one more time we're first going to start off with halfback zone just because running the ball is so incredibly good in this game. So I'm going to go against Big Nickel in this video. And um, just quickly doing a few audibles, okay. So we're going up against Cover 3 Sky. Cover 3 Sky. Um, it's a very popular play but not good against the run for the most part. I say for the most part because block shots are basically uh, the determining factor if, for if a run is going to be successful and they're pretty random so unless uh, there's a block shot or somebody just blatantly misses a block this is a good run I would recommend to do is ID the user and flip the run to the left with the right stick and then just try to make some moves as I can I don't run the ball a lot which is why I'm currently struggling a bit uh, showing this off, but a runner can definitely make this play work and it's a very good run Something that you can do if you're a bit more hardcore into running the ball is you can sub in uh, tight ends on the Dorset, Edelman and Sanu and sub in a Fullback on the Titan Watson and then just really pound the ball But I'm not that heavy of a run of a runner and I don't want to always have the have to make the substitutions uh, between running and passing the ball so that's why I don't do it if you like the, to pass the ball like me then I would also not recommend you to do that now right there we are getting some constant yards we don't have a great halfback or a really fast halfback in Sony Michelle but if we have a faster halfback then we can get some more yards obviously as we can get to the line of scrimmage a bit quicker now I'm not going to spend all day showing you off the uh, showing you this runoff all that you need to do is flip the run to the left by flipping the right stick to the left and then just run the ball what you can then do is ID the user but that's pretty much all there is for the run the run is pretty powerful in man 20 if you guys don't know so if you get tired of passing the ball all the time come to this formation and just hand the ball off with halfback zone now we're going to go get into a cover 3 beater. Now this cover 3 beater right here in practice mode is not going to work. It's very sad, I know. Just Tom Brady has too low of throw power to make this work. But all that you need, you in theory need to do is fade Sanu, uh, Carl Watson and block Sony Michelle. And then this should get open against a cover 3. If I can pass lead that to the left correctly. Then that's a touchdown now right here. I have to take a sip of water because I know that I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> mm. 
Yeah. Okay, so you guys probably don't he didn't hear that, but yeah, I had a nasty cough. So pretty much all you want to do with cross track is not cross track, spot option. There you go. Fade Senu, um, curl Watson as a backside takedown, and then just run the play like that. Now it's not gonna work once again. Tom Brady has too low of throw power, but in Ultimate Team I have 99 throw power. Um, Michael Vick, yeah, that's his face, and it's it gets over a over a, oh over. It gets over a cover three pretty easily. Now, something that I like to do against the cover three is just streak Sanu. Motion him out. And against Cloud Flats, I'm going to show you that this even works against Cloud, Cloud Flats perfectly. This corner route is going to get wide open. And I don't know why this corner route doesn't look that good. It seems more like an out route. But it's got a beautiful cut. Wait a minute. Wrong controller, my bad. This has a beautiful cut, and it just, for some reason, it just gets open. Now, this gets absolutely locked down by a cover two. But against the cover three, this is really godly. Like, this is a window that your opponent is not going to be expecting you to hit. Uh, many of the plays I'm going to show you are going to be across the middle, and this spot option play just does a beautiful job at attacking the outside. Once again, just streak him, motion him out, and then you can do whatever you want. Backside, I personally like to curl him just so I can like hit him in this window for a check down. And once again, this is a 10 yard check down, so that's a pretty effective route combo if I do say so myself. Also, against man coverage, I can, I haven't tried this, but I can promise you, pretty much guarantee that. This corner route is going to absolutely destroy, man. Well, never mind then. I didn't know that they have that they had the best coverage ever. Back there defending uh, this dude. Let's try that again. Actually, I, I I can't accept that this does not beat that this does not beat man coverage. Like this has to, right? Yeah, Stefan Gilmore is just absolutely destroying Edelman right here. Yeah, let's try that the other way around so that we don't have the best man coverage cornerback in the league uh, face to face with this corner out. So, yeah, let's just see. And right there, okay. So, probably that's a bit of an unfair matchup, but you see that this corner out should. It should actually get open. <coughs> <coughs> but you see that this corner run actually should get open against man coverage. That's pretty much all I have to show you uh, out of that. Wait a minute. I'm going to show you how uh, this gets absolutely locked down by a cover two. Yeah, cover two. And there's just pretty much no way to throw this. Like right there, that's a pick. If I click on there, I have two controllers. I'm currently using two controllers. If I click on there on defense, that's a pick. So not, do not run this against the cover two. This is not going to work too well for you if you're running this versus a cover two. I'm just repeating myself. So we're going to go into the next play, which is cross track. Now this, this is a great play. It's very read dependent. Another difficult sentence for an Austrian, but I made it. It's a pretty difficult play. All you want to do is you want to block your halfback and then just motion snap like that and and then make the read. It's a pretty difficult read if I do say so myself because there are many moving parts in this play. Generally, when when you're going online with this scheme for the first time, you want to make sure to hit your drags just because... That's that's something that's very important when you try to get comfortable with the scheme. You want to hit your drags as often as possible. And also, something that's very nice about this play in particular is the drags are almost always open. Now, now granted, the one that Dorset is running most likely is going to get covered. Right, that's going to get covered. 
then you just move on to your next read and this is a difficult read to make and also difficult uh, ball to catch pause why is that so difficult maybe I'm making too big a deal out of this but it's you have to swerve in order to voice crack you have to swerve in order to make that catch work now it's really difficult to explain what swerving is without showing it, but I'm going to try to explain it to you first and then show what it is or show how to do it. You want to bring your wide receiver when you're throwing the ball to him in a better position to make it better, to get a better animation, pretty much. That's the analogy Dub Dub used. He's a professional man player. If you want, he did a full tutorial on, tutorial on this. If you want to get a more in depth look on this. I'm just going to uh, brush over it a bit. Um, check his video out. It's going to be linked down first uh, video in the description. Now, what's why do I have to swerve right here? Because the deep zone, the cover three zone right here, the cover three outside zone, this, this dude, he can get a pretty good uh, pick opportunity if I don't swerve. So all I'm doing is when I'm throwing the ball to triangle, right here is I'm going up the field up the field with my stick and then roll the left stick to the right uh, down again and I'm going to show this one more time so you see what I mean and then I'm going to go into replay to show you uh, what it, what that small maneuver quote unquote did right there bomb yeah that's a perfect one <coughs> 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 So right now I'm going to go, go into the replay and I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to run the play. We're going to be, yeah, oops. We're going to be focused on this guy right here now. Zoom in a bit. Now, here's where I, sw I start to swerve. I go up the field a bit. It's hard to see. Um, yeah, let's go in this tempo. Did you see that little wiggle pause? I went um, up the field a bit and then back. Right there it is. Up the field and then back. It's really a small motion. But you can see how uh, the guy on the back reacts. Number 24. He slows down a bit. And I can catch that pass in front of him pretty easily. That's all I did is I... I got my uh, number 11 into a better position to make a play. Now, why that happens and why I'm in a better position after that small uh, wiggle with my... Um, I'm really trying to avoid a pause here. With my analog stick. There you go. <coughs> um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. You probably have to ask a game coder or a professional man player. It's weirdly enough, it seems like both pros and the people that are paid to uh, code this game have equal little knowledge about this game. Pretty weird. Why that happens, I don't know. Also, why the uh, devs are incompetent, I don't know neither. But this just helps to get the pass completed. F for why, I don't know. I'm going to show you this one more time. Right there, small little swerve. Ooh, just like we drew it up and then let's go. Okay, now perfect. I'm not the best at swerving. You should probably look to somebody, a YouTuber like Throne. I, also, I already uh, showed you his channel a couple of videos ago. But if you want a full swerving, swerving tutorial, then just click the first link in the description. This is going to be the link to a video. A pro man player did on how to swerve now. Last player I'm going to go over is verticals now. I'm probably dragging this on a bit. So I'm going to go through this really quickly. Swer uh, swerving, yeah. Verticals is a great play versus cover two. It's a tight window. Um, I'm just gonna run it stock or with a drag like this, just to show it to you guys. You can f uh, throw this to new route, but it's a tight window to fit it into. All uh, right, there. That's the window. And yeah why this safety was so far in the box i don't know you, you'd probably have to ask him because this makes no 
not even a little, little bit sense. But he was. And that opened the throne. All right, then I'm going to show you that you can even uh, make this ro uh, throw with the guy being a bit farther back. Yeah. All right, there. That's a really, really tight window. I waited a bit too long on throwing it. I'm going to try it one more time before I'm going to say that it's too tight of a window to throw it consistently. But I have gotten it pretty much every time I tried it uh, back when I practiced it. One more time, I'm going to attempt this, and boom. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, not beautiful, almost beautiful. So against the cover two, this is a good throw. Now, what can we throw against a cover three out of this? Um, a lot of things. <coughs> <coughs> the first setup that I would recommend to do is motion him out like that again, and put Sony Michelle on the real one. Make sure that you have the bunch to the wide side of the field for this to work. Because then the wheel rod goes to the bunch side and then I can just hit this wheel rod in a beautiful pocket and it just gets wide open. Now I did not come up with this play myself. This play I bought an ebook in Man 18 from a pro Madden player. I hope he he's not mad at me sharing his stuff uh, from two years ago. If he is, I'd gladly remove that setup. But, yeah, this is just a beautiful play. It's a, simp it's a really simple read, so there's no reason for you to not to use it. It's not difficult to read. Either the user takes R1 or you throw circle. Circle is also a beautiful play. Now it got man matched there, which is why it didn't work as well as it should have. But right here, I'm going to show you that this also works. You can also throw these circle rods for, with great success. In this case, I would obviously throw R1. Or would, I would have already uh, thrown R1. I didn't, of course, because I wanted to show off how great this crossing rod is. Just, just pay attention to circle. It gets in this weird area where there's no zone to defend them. And I just get a lot of yards running this play. I don't know why. But people just seem to not be able to defend it. Against the cover three, something that I can also do is try to fit in um, this route. Stop with them voice cracks, god damn it, please. It's it's really annoying. Boy, it's annoying. Um but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Oracle. Something else that you can do is you can run this setup. Look for and uh, do the same thing with look for circle. But then just check it down and leave your uh, uh, running back on this uh, release route. And all of your zones are going to be uh, drifting back just because like all of these vertical routes. Then all you do is just wait a couple of seconds and then just get sacked before you can throw the check down. One more time, um, just wait a couple of seconds, that's what I was going to say, and then just throw the ball and cut it upfield. That's how good this formation is. Once again, this is a mini scheme, really simple reads, make sure to uh, go check it out of the Saints playbook. It's not the only playbook that has pistol much that end, but it's going to be the, uh, the playbook that I'm going to be covering for the next free book that I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to lap quite a bit. Um, make sure to get ready for some tight offset action. And some Taysom Hill action. And also maybe some Y of Trio Week action. That's all I have for you in this video. This was quite long for a for this simple of a bit video. But I tried to go into a lot of detail and explain to you really what I'm thinking when I'm creating uh, one of those schemes and when I'm playing man that's all I have for you today make sure to pass the ball man's when you don't be a bum and just run stretch and dive even though you can also do this out of this playbook <laughs> that's f that's all uh, for me thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one peace out